Right, everyone. I'm doing it again. I'm on the live again. <laughs> Hopefully, I thought that my next live would just be a um, me saying freedom. It's not the case, though. Just wait for a couple of people. Come on. And if any of you guys want to ask me any questions or anything like that, please do. It's going to be an interesting one today. It's just me in my room. Nice and clean. As it has been. Every single time. Every day. Cleaning my room. Making it tidy. Being lovely. Being pleasant. And I, um, of course, big news is coming up when I um, just wait for a few more people to come on and then I'll get going. That's two. What's up, guys? Matthew John Wacharik here. Gonna drop some interesting news and ask for a bit of a favour from you guys today. Okay, give it 20 more seconds and then I'll get, I'll get to what I want to say. 20 more seconds. Was my, if my finger was just across the microphone, then I apologise. Fix that now. A few more seconds, guys. 10 seconds or so, and I'll get to it. <sighs> Interesting one today. Mm. Right then. Okay. I'm going to get to it. So, I thought I'd do a Facebook Live again because I know for a fact... Some of you guys watching this right now and who will watch it are even fearful just to like one of my posts. You're fearful to like my posts, even though I know a lot of you guys out there agree with it and you're fearful to even like it. What does that say? What does that say about the state of Facebook and the state of our country right now that you're even fearful just to like a post? Um, yeah, it's not very good. So... Uh, as you guys might have known, my section two finished on Thursday. Well, was going to finish on this following Thursday coming up. Uh, and I had my final review leading up to that today. And I, um, and despite everything, despite me being just pleasant, perfect on the ward, nice to every patient, nice to every nurse, totally well-minded, just being a good guy... Um, they've upped it to section three and they, uh, I might be staying in for a, up to another month. Um, every individual I've spoken to on the ward since then has been perplexed, um, just confused. Everybody in here supports me getting out. Uh, they were almost even in an awkward way saying, oh, you'll get out, you'll get out. And I'm like, oh, I hope so, hope so. Obviously, being a um, just playing it safe in the mind, but I did I did believe that that I'd be getting out. I believed it to be fair, um, just as I believed it on every single review I've had leading up to now. Because I, um, of course, I'm innocent, and I've never done anything wrong, uh, and I still stand by everything that I've done. Uh, and I think it's me saying that I stand by everything that I've done, and I believe I've done done no wrong. That's the they hate that. They hate that. They want me to pull back. They want me to be like, oh, no, maybe I was a bit much. I wasn't much. I was bob on. I was perfect in what I said. And a lot of you guys agree with that. And a lot of you guys I, um, see that all I did was ever tell the truth. Ignore my little rip and my hoodie. I'm just wearing a um, wearing fleeces and just stuff to work out in. Um, but, yeah, it's become very clear to me now that we do not live in a free country. It is not free. It's not free. If you speak out against things that you believe to be wrong, despite them being the truth, and despite you not saying it in a hateful way whatsoever, because um, of course I've asked any individual to show me one speck of evidence of any hatred that I've, sh I've shared, and that still stands. So if any of you beautiful people watching right now can I, um, put in the comments any hatred that I've shared, um, or any evidence of me being mentally unwell, please do. I implore you, put it in there, show it, because I'm yet to see it. Um, this is what Christianity looks like, guys, is telling the truth and not pulling back on something that you know to be true. Um, Christianity isn't just 
doing nice deeds and being weak. Christianity is not weak. Christianity is power. It is powerful. And I am being that. I am being strong. I am not afraid. I have conviction in everything that I've done and everything that I've said. And that's why they won't let me out. Because they are afraid of the impact that I would have out there. Opening people's minds to the beauty that is Jesus Christ. How he did die on the cross for our sins. I know it to be true right now. And they, um, if I was saying this kind of conviction with any other religion, Buddhism, or any of the other monotheistic religions that I don't even want to say the name of right now, um, I'd be out of here like that. I'd be out. But because it's about Jesus Christ, the true one, the great one, the holy one, they're not letting me out. Um, and I just want to repeat again for this entire Coming on to four weeks now, I've been pleasant, I've been nice, I've been reasonable, I've been patient, I've been teaching classes on the wards, being a nice person. And I, um, and yeah, the reward I get for that is being denied a reasonable conversation every time. And then I, um, having my section furthered for no reason. And again, at this, when she told me that, I said, give me one speck of evidence for anything. And she just looking at her notes she's just tutting so no evidence has ever been given at all at all not one and i'm still waiting for that so if any of you guys again you 19 20 people who are watching if you've seen anything from me of me, me being mentally unwell or me being hateful i want you to i want you to put it in the chat right now i want you to show everybody show me where i've gone wrong because none of these professionals have been able to do it and i um i want to see it this is all I've done and, and what led me to be a Christian. It's not blind faith. I've followed the evidence. I've used my God-given reasonable mind. I've found out things that have been proven to me by religious figures. And you guys know what I'm talking about there. Um, everything that I've seen and everything that I've done has been using my human God-given intellect, logic and reasonable mind to, a, um, to come to conclusions that are right now to me plain and evident it's not just about belief for me anymore i know that jesus christ is real he is the lord he is our savior he died on the cross for our sins and i know a lot of people oh they they don't like that hearing that but it's true and i'm not gonna quiet myself down now because obviously quieting down doesn't make a difference i've been quiet i've been reasonable you look at my statuses then i'm not spreading anything whatsoever that anything controversial I'm having positive conversations and still they keep me locked up. Um, so yeah, they're afraid of the impact that I'll have out there teaching good people how to believe in their good heart, use their reasonable mind. Because any of you guys who've been coming to my classes before all of this happened know that I wasn't pushing anything. I wasn't being off. I was being completely reasonable in everything that I've said. And I'm still am. I'm still being completely reasonable. And they, um, and they keep me in here with zero evidence ever given to anything whatsoever. Now, I have something to ask from you guys and it's nothing crazy. It's nothing, it's nothing, a, um, I'm, it doesn't take much. And, and to be fair, all I'm asking you guys to do now is to use your God-given reasonable mind and judgment. And I'm gonna give all of you guys the start on how you guys can learn what I have learned don't take it from me. I want you guys out there, all you guys who are hurting, all of you guys who are not happy, because I know most of the world right now is not happy. Everyone's depressed. Everyone's drinking too much alcohol, doing drugs, having sex without even thinking about it. That's Our, our culture is driven on sex. That's That's what... The, the, the top thing of happiness is in our society is having sex. Whether it's man on man, female on, on man, one night stands, whatever. Sex is number one. And that's just, there's so much more to life than that, guys. And I just want to get you guys on the path to being truly happy. And I, um, Dale Thompson says, I don't think you're in there for being religious, Matt. Well, tell me, Dale, what am I in here for being for? What am I in here for? I want to know. Um, 
answer that question and I'll get back to it when I can, but everyone, this is what I want you to do. I want you, now my name is Matthew John Wacharik, and I don't think that's a coincidence. Wacharik, given from my Ukrainian grandfather, who I only found out over the past few months, um, grew up during the Holodomor, which is when five to eight million Ukrainians starved to death. He watched his sisters get raped. He watched parents eating their own children to curb off starvation. That happened. Check it out, Holodomor. Um, this is just one of many things that happened on me being found. And, and it's not my fault that, I, that nobody ever told me that. It's not my fault my parents never told me about how I grew up and, and why I have struggled with things my entire life, why I have struggled with bulimia, self-harm, drug addiction, alcoholism, compulsive liar, <laughs> having sex with men when I'm not gay. I said it, yeah, I struggled. And I know there are a lot of people out there who are struggling too with them exact things. I know of people and they, um, and it's wrong and society should be telling us it's wrong. And now this is how you guys are gonna start opening your mind to this. My name is Matthew John Macharik and I want every person reading this now to get a new King James Version, Holy Bible, or you can check it out on, on the internet, um, bible.com I'm sure. Um, just get a reliable source to read the Bible and this is what I want you to do. I want you to read the first hand accounts of Jesus Christ and the best ones are, they've got Matthew, is the first one, Mark, Luke, and John, but two of the most poignant ones and the best ones are Matthew and John. So just get yourself a Bible, read the Gospel of Matthew, the first part's all the genealogy and you can skip that part, it tells you about how Jesus came from Adam and Eve and the genealogy, which means like heritage, going all the way down to uh, Jesus, it tells you, it tells you, and, they, uh, and the other monotheistic religions agree on all the, on, on that from Abraham uh, to Jacob, Isaac, going all the way down, they agree on it, so think that massive portion of the world that all agrees on that, acting like an extremist, how is anything I've done, Dale, acting like an extremist in any way, you just said that it wasn't religion that got me in here, and then you said acting like an extremist, kind of contradicted yourself a little bit there, acting like what kind of extremist? What have I done that's extreme? Is this extreme right now that, that I'm going on live? Is this extreme? Or is being a drug addict and an adulterer and cheating on your girlfriends, is that extreme? I think that's a bit more extreme, Dale. This, this is just what being a Christian is. And if I wasn't a Christian, guess what? I'd still be cheating on my girlfriends. I'd still be doing drugs. I'd still be a bad person. And I don't want to be that anymore. And thanks to Jesus Christ, I'm not that. So what's more extreme, Dale? What's more extreme? <laughs> and that's just what you guys who are, who are attacking me, you've got nothing to say. You're just, you're just calling me names, extremists. Like, what is it, Dale? Point to what it is. Point, screenshot what I've done and show me. Because I want to see, and I'm sure everybody else does too. Because nothing I've done since turning Christian has been off in any way, shape or form. It's all been perfect and I stand by it all. So what I want you guys to do is read the Gospel of Matthew. Read it all. Read chapter 5 is one of the best chapters. Go to it now. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. Read it. It. Jesus Christ was the most heartfelt beautiful individual the how he acted is just beyond comprehension and we should all try and be like him we will fail because we're all sinners and we make mistakes but this is the great thing if we believe in him he forgives us every single time he'll forgive us over and over again just like he's forgiven me for everything wrong that I've done in my past and just like he'll forgive you for all the bad stuff that we've all done because we've all done it and I know on some of my statuses, I've, I've called out people. Well, I've not called out people. I've just called out bad, bad things. And I stand by it, all them bad things, because all them things that I said were bad. Going on live videos in the streets slating Muslim religion. I've never done that. I've never gone on a live video in the streets slating Muslim religion. Somebody recorded me when I, when I spoke the truth on... And it's, well, that's not slating the Muslim religion, that's telling a truth. That's quoting 
That's quoting what it says. So if you think it's a slate when I'm quoting, then that's you're just giving me your opinion on that. So in fact, Dale, it's you who's slating it because I never said it. I just I never said slated. I just said what it says. That's all I did, and that's not slating. That's just telling you what it says. So if you believe that that's a slate, you've just given your opinion on that. So again, another contradiction from you, Dale, and not, not a single one from me. Chris Robinson, yes, brother. So yeah, the section of me again, and what I want you to do is read Matthew and read John, because they are, they are amazing. The Bible is the word of God. It is beautiful. It's an amazing book. It is the best book. And if you guys want to start getting on the right path and fixing your life up, just like I've fixed my life up, because look, I'm in here, but I am, I'm content. I'm happy. Yes, I might, I might have got down a little bit for when they said they were sectioning me, but then boom, I'm right back to it, right back. Once I see the path that I'm going to be, which is going to be training hard, training four times a day, eating as much as possible, and just being a... Christian, that's what I'm going to do. Marcus Enrico, don't know you in person, brother, but God bless you, man. God bless you. And God bless all of you guys putting a thumbs up right now. Appreciate all of you guys. Like I say, this is not me doing anything wrong, is it? I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just trying to share positivity with you guys because I'm saying that my, my life was not good. I've messed up a hell of a lot. I've done a lot of wrong things. And you guys loved me when I was doing them wrong things. I was doing all the wrong things, evil things, and I'm using that word evil because it's either good or evil. No, no in between. No in between. Good or evil. Which one do you want to be? And I was evil. And you guys would go, oh, that's a bit hard. It's like, no, it's not harsh. I was evil. I was an evil person and you guys loved me for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, Marcus, I remember. I won't say what you just commented there for a um, for a uh, safeguarding, but I remember you. Yep, I've taught you with a, um, some good friends. So, if anybody else can uh, show me any, any wrongdoings that I've done whatsoever or any evidence of any mental unwellness other than just hearsay and anything else, actual evidence, I want to see it. But, I, um, but yeah, I think that's everything, guys. So, just as a little recap... I've been perfect on the ward for a month, teaching my martial art classes, and they've decided to section me further um, because they're afraid of the truth. And guess what? Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the Messiah. He died on the sins. He died on the cross for our sins. And, a, um, and yeah, we are all sinners, so we need to repent. It's not being a good person that will get you to heaven. That's, that's the... A, um, the bit that people don't want to hear. Being a good person is not enough. You've got to believe in Jesus Christ. And this is me telling you now, believe in Jesus Christ. He is the Son of God. He is the Messiah. And there's nothing extreme about that. He wants you to know. And I'm telling you for him. Believe it. And how you're going to start believing it is don't just believe it on a whim. Start reading Matthew. Start reading John. And the truth will set you free. Not in there as punishment. You're in there for your own good, Matt. When you realise that you're on your way to being let out. Um, don't really know what to say to that, Dale. Because um, I don't want to complain about anything. Um, but what you're trying to say is for me to retract on anything that I've done or said. And I'm not going to do that. I stand by every single thing that I've done. Every single thing that I've said. So I'll give, leave it to you to point out anything that I've done wrong. And if I did something wrong, I'll put my hands up and say, oops, sorry, did something wrong then. But there's nothing I did wrong, brother. There's nothing I did wrong. Um, not since turning a Christian anyway. Everything before that did a lot of wrong. I was weak. I was scared. I was wrong. Now I am strong. So, yeah, read Matthew, read John, and the truth will set you free. This is Matthew John Wacharik. Out. God bless you all.